And so if you're tempted to disengage, because you do know, my friend, that it's possible to be there, but not really be there. You know what I mean? You're going through the details. You're doing the thing. I mean, you're cooking dinner. You're putting it on the table. But you have left the building in your attitude, your emotions, your heart. You are totally disengaged from what it is that God has asked you to do. I mean, you're serving in the children's ministry, but you're not really serving in the children's ministry. It's just your hands. It's not your heart. When you're tempted to, to skip this part of the journey, I wish this singleness thing would hurry up, man. I wish this difficulty in our finances would hurry up, man. I just wish this, this job thing, if I could just get out of this and on to the next thing. If you are tempted, really tempted right now, to close your eyes and just sleepwalk through this portion, it's probably because you're in a sacred place. And the enemy wants nothing more than to keep the people of God from actually experience God, experiencing God outside of church. If he can keep our experiences with God limited to the time we're just corporately gathered together, he's got us right where he wants us. What he does not want, what is dangerous to the kingdom of God is someone who leaves the room like this and actually encounters God in the regular rhythms of their everyday living. So my friend, would you be aware of this secret for sleepwalkers? This is the secret, my friend. Stay awake because that certain place is probably a sacred place. Do you know that in the pages of scripture, when we first read about Jacob and his lineage, he was reared in a family that feared Yahweh because it began with his great granddaddy Abraham. So we've got a lineage of people that are fearing Yahweh. And yet this passage in Genesis chapter 28, this passage is the first time that we ever see Jacob hearing God's voice with his own ears. This is the first time he catches a glimpse of God with his own eyes. So he's heard about Yahweh, but it's not until he gets to the certain place in his journey that he gets to see Yahweh. And I just wonder if the reason why you are, I am in this season where we're tempted to just throw in the towel and go to sleep is because it's in this place that God is setting us up to have our eyes tuned to see him in a way we might not see him before, to hear his voice in a way that we have not heard his voice before.